Hi guys, it's me again. Um, so this video, um, staff on the ward, um, have asked me to do it. Um, so it's about um, CAMS, CAMS Mental Health Services. So I'd like to just say um, my experience of CAMS hasn't, well, wasn't the greatest. Um, I had quite a bad experience. Um, I, it made me a lot worse. It made me learn behaviours. Um, I was copying other patients. I was, I was just finding new ways, but bad ways of coping, and it destroyed me. And I have to live with that on an everyday basis now. And it's just, it's really difficult. It's really hurting. It's it's very hard like for you guys that are under the age of 18 um i just want to say try your best like try so so hard to talk to people to run crisis people i'll put some in the link in the link below if you don't already have any um but do try your best to reach out for support and if you are going to have a little blip, then that's fine. But please seek medical help if you need it. Or reach out and just, just get the help you need. Please, like, don't get me wrong. Cam, cams can help people. But the majority of people that I know, and I've known a lot of patients and like peers and cams people, and it's made them a lot worse. Like... For example, when I went into CAMS, I the only thing that I used to do was overdose, go to Bridges, and I'd cut once. By the time I left CAMS, swallowing, headbanging, ligaturing, cutting, burning, <coughs> biting, assaulting staff, Kicking doors, smashing windows. Yeah, it is bad. I know that. And the the second day in my cams unit, I remember this. It was in the daytime, and someone mentioned ligature, and I didn't know what that meant back then. I was like, "What?" Someone showed me how to do it. Someone helped me do it. Now that's not right. That is wrong. And to the person that did that to me, you're an arsehole. I'm, I know you, you may have been struggling and you needed help, but you don't show someone else how to kill themselves. That is not right. That is disrespectful. That is horrible. And now I ligature a lot. Not as much as I used to, but I do ligature. And I get the urge to ligature now. And if it, if it wasn't for cams, then I wouldn't be ligaturing. And it's really killing me because it, the reason why I'm stuck in adult services is from my self-harming, like headbanging. Because when I get one, I headbang, I headbang for long periods of time, which leads to me being restrained. Staff have to restrain me, I have to IM me. So they inject me with some medication to help calm me down, take me to a quiet room where there's nothing in it, just chairs. Um, so yeah, I've learnt a lot of behaviours and now I have to live with that and cope with that every day. And for you guys, I just don't want you to get caught up in all of that because it's a load of shit to deal with and it's too much to deal with. Not even I can cope with it. And yeah, you might be strong, but dealing with this is completely different. It's, it's changed my life so much. And my family just think, wow, what has happened to my daughter? Or what has happened to my sister? Or what has happened to me? All that kind of stuff. Like, she's gone in with just that and just come out with everything I just I don't know what to say really like 
I just wish that I managed to stay out of services and I wish I listened to Cam's and I wish I went in there with an open mind and told him about my self-harming and my overdosing and I wish I was honest. I know I was honest when I had a serious attempt of my life which got me sectioned but that was different and uh, I don't know but all I can say is please message me don't feel like you've been a burden or you're gonna bother me or anything like that any time of the day any time of the night I may not answer straight away but I'll do my best to support you all and I, I really will like and I, I, I've, I've got a support group on Instagram a mental health chat or a support group I've got both I um, and I've got quite a lot of people that I had I don't know them, um, but I've added them into it and I support them and they support me and it's a really good chat. Um, so if you want to follow my Instagram, um, it's recovering underscore O, that's my account. My name's Olivia, but it will say Liv. Um, and then just message me if you want to be added to it and I'll add you into the conversation. Um but trigger warning, yeah, there can be talk of self-harm. There can be suicidal people that put stuff in there. Like, a few days back, someone put something in there and I had to ring the police. I had no other option to do so. But anyway, that's going off subject. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Um, adult services, also, if, you're, if you've been in CAMS and you're turn 18 and you transition into adult services um i'd just like to say listen to the staff that are telling you adult services are very different because they are and that's coming from someone who's been there and done it and in that situation i didn't listen to staff i just thought oh it'd be fine adults would just be the same as cams there's no difference and all that crap and they've got to adult services and it's really different. It's least restrictive practice, positive risk taking. It's a completely kettle, different kettle of fish. Let me just say that. It really is. And it's a lot harder to get out of adult services than it is in CAMS. Adult services are just... It's horrible. It's like 72-year-old woman... Not in here where I am, but you will get that. And if you're 19 or 18, you don't want that. You don't want to be seeing that. It's it's not nice. I've been there before and I'm still here now. And seeing it is just horrible. Witnessing it and seeing patients like that, you just think, I don't want to be like that for the rest of my life. Or am I going to be like that for the rest of my life? Or... Thinking stuff like that, you just think the worst. And I just I just wish I could go back in time and try my best to stay in the community because I've spent nearly four years in services and it's destroyed me. I've met some lovely people, I've met some lovely staff and but it's not the right place to be, it's not a life. You don't get to do what you want when you want. You've got rules and restrictions. and For fuck's sake, you can't even have a perfume bottle in your bedroom. You can't even have candles. You can't even have, You can't even smoke. You can't even go in the garden past 12 o'clock. There's so many restrictions. And it's just, it's awful. Sorry for ranting, by the way. I'm just trying to get things off my chest and trying to express to you that how different it is and what comes alike and how bad my experience was and things like that really that that's all I'm trying to say um so I'll put some things in the link below um and I hope you like this video um uh, any questions please feel free to comment um because I'm struggling with videos on what to do next uh or what to say etc like that but thank you